What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we got another great video for you today. And guys, this one, the ones that have been showing the most support is the ones how to make stubs. And guys, this video is unbelievable. But before I get into the video, please go drop a like, sub down below, and comment 10k for a chance at winning 10k. If the video is 30 likes, I will choose a random guy to get 10k in the comments. We must drop a ton of content, anything in the comments. You could just ask me a question, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just drop something in the comments, like the video, and sub, and you will qualify. And guys, yeah, my team is trash, but I actually have players. Uh, I got Lloyd, Otuve, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. So guys, I found the best way to make stubs. And guys, it's just unbelievable. Like, it's so simple. It's so easy. Let me get into it. But anyways, whoever's like, who's are my supporters? I'm 14, so I lost four games in a row. 10 wins. I won 10 games in a row. And then I lost four in a row. So, yes, it's been rough. I got the motive. But anyways, let's get into it. The best way to make stubs right now. It is so easy. There's no effort. And it's. I'm going to tell you how. So, ready. Okay, ready? So, you're on MLB. You're just chilling and you're literally shot. You hate the game because you got smacked. So you just want to get off. But before you get offline, you have like 5k subs. Let's say you have 10k subs. Before you get offline, you're freaking out. You're rage quitting. Don't get offline right away. You want to stay online. And I'm going to tell you what to do. You do not get off the game. You never get off the game with subs sitting there. You always have to make investments before you get offline. So let me tell you how to do this. So ready? I'm gonna go over to bronze and I'm just gonna tell you, ready? So you have 10K stubs and you're getting off. You're like, I'm done with this game, I'm out. No, you never get off the game with stubs sitting there. Ever, ever, ever. You have to, before you go off and go to sleep or whatever, you have to, you have to play sell nows before you get off the game. It's literally the best way to make stubs. So for instance, just look for the guys with the most price gaps. You guys know how it goes. You just want to place it right here. 413. You want to place a bunch, as many sound as you can until you have zero stubs and then get off. But I would only recommend bronze and silver cards. And I'm going to tell you why. So let's say you do a gold card and you get offline. His inside edge is up right now. Let's, so for instance, so let's say I place it on Carpenter. His inside is up, right? So I place it on Carpenter for a... 1009 stubs whatever i get offline i come back on the next day and his stubs his inside edge is even or down you lose stubs automatically so you have to listen to me carefully you want to do it on the, the cards either silver or bronze never goals it's risky unless the price guy is really really big and his inside edge is down or even but i would keep it safe and stick with the bronze and silvers and not only that you could also do commas if you really want, but I would stick to bronze and silvers because if you, let's say I place a Suzuki as a big price gap and his inside is up, he's not going to drop that much. So you won't lose stubs that way. Like it, you won't lose stubs only with gold cards because they have a higher value. So let's say, okay, perfect example. Salvador Perez, not a good example actually. Hold up. Okay. Jack flat three. Let's say his inside was down or even, even now is good because he has a big price gap. You just want to place a sell now for 490 and get off the game or whatever until you have no stubs. You just want to keep searching the auction and just keep doing this, guys. I made so many stubs off this. This is literally one of the main ways I made stubs. Before I got off the game, I'll place a bunch of sell nows and I would just make mad stubs. And it really works. I'm telling you right now, it works. I do it with mostly bronze though. So let's go to bronze. Bronze, in my opinion, are the best. Or oh, like, okay. I'm going to tell you right now. I did it with Pete Alonzo a lot. I did it with Pete Alonzo. I did it with Vogelback. I did it with all the guys that are starting to break out. And I did it when their edge was either down or even. Let me get some bronzes. Hold on. Okay. So, ready? This is a perfect one. You would make 80 stubs no matter what. Actually, no, no, no. Let me go to one. Okay, even. Okay, perfect. This guy right here, Matson. Ryan Matson used to be amazing. He, you would post it for 96 and you would just keep going you could post a million for 96 you would make stubs either way and especially if he goes up an edge you'll make even more stubs 
So, ready. Perfect. Steven Matz, down inside edge. I'm actually push, putting on him right now. He has a down inside edge. This is a perfect car to do it for. If you have a down inside edge, you always want to place a sound out on a guy who has down inside edge. It's a no-brainer because you can't lose stubs. It's impossible. Unless they get hurt or something. But, like, that's not going to happen. Josh Harrison, another good one to place. But let's keep going. Let's look for the ones with big gaps. Okay, Urban Santana. It's even. You want to place a 140. You just want to keep placing as many. As many. You want to literally, if you have 10k stubs, you want to go off the game broke. You want to come back on and see what you got, okay? You want to come back on the game, see what you got. You will make mad stubs, guys. And also, if you're watching this, if you guys don't know a lot about, like, real baseball, go check out my, uh, my pickups of the week video. It's very good for investing on players. Like, I said, Domingo Santana is a good investment, all that. Helps a lot. But guys, please just listen to me. I make all, most of all my stubs off this. Just never, ever, 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 ever get off the game with stubs. It's the biggest mistake you could ever make. I promise you. Just don't. So let's just keep looking for players to do this for. I'm going to just give you some advice on players. And okay, too low, right? No, not a good example. Come on, where's the gaps? Okay, this one's not that bad. Hold on. Okay, Jung Ho King, perfect one. Edge is even. Big price gap, make an automatic 100 stubs, wait, like, next day, you place five order the, orders of these, and you make 100 stubs a piece, like, it's a no-brainer, guys, let's say you have 10k stubs, you do 20 times, you make so much profit, you'll literally wake up, and go on a game, and you'll make 10k every single day, this is what I've been doing, it's literally so good, let's keep going, let me keep, keep showing you some, uh, players to look at let's keep going look for the gaps okay Aloy Jimenez no not good his gap isn't that good okay you know what this one's not bad it's not a it's not bad actually you know what even though it's not a, a, a card that's active right now it's a legend Vladimir Guerrero unbelievable you can post it on this let's say you post 10 get off the game wake up fresh in the morning see how many you got pop them on the auction make some door stubs uh let's keep going Sorry, guys, no stream today, by the way. Uh, Ma Matt Schumacher's not bad. You could literally just... You should literally just wait on him because he has like a 1.5 ERA right now. He's 3-0 and, and right now, actually. Just a good card to invest in in general, and you can make stubs off him either way. So wait till his edge goes up on his next start. It's beautiful. It's a smart idea. Since you choose another good one... Actually, no, his edge is up. Not a good one. Hold up. Let's go. Uh, okay, this one's not bad. You'll make uh, 50 subs off the reduction. Say you place 10. 81 times 10, 810 subs. You'll make 800. Let's just say like, let's just say like 700 subs off 10 of these. And it's unbelievable. It's literally unbelievable. It's just such a good method, guys. Another good one. This guy right here. Inside is down. When his edge goes up, like his edge will probably go up tomorrow because he's a relief pitcher. His edge will probably go up tomorrow, and you could still make stubs off him either way with the price cap. My God, I love Williams Alcindelo. He's a beast. He's like Bartolo. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, uh, this is a good one. This is a pretty good one. We got a nice gap right here. Make 150 stubs no matter what. Place 50 of them. Get off the game. Wake up to some stubs. Guys, these are the best methods. I have so many, so many stub making method videos, guys. It's unbelievable. If you guys are watching this, go show support to the other ones, man. They're awesome. They help everyone. One of my videos blew up with 1.5k views and 50 likes. 60 likes, actually. Crazy stuff, man. These stuff making method videos are awesome. They're very helpful. But like I said, guys, let's see if I can find one more. Jacoby Ellsbury, good one. Edge is down. Edge goes up. Goes up in price. Make more stubs. Wake up to more stubs. Another one, Rajay Davis. Didn't even know he was on the Mets, actually. Might be in the AAA. Another good one. 70 stubs every single time so guys i hope you guys enjoy these videos stay tuned for more stub making method videos stay tuned for all ways to make stubs anything tips tricks if you guys have trouble with the jackie robinson conquest you can check out my other video i made a video on that guys your boy bugs is posting some fire content that everyone needs to know just remember before you go to sleep or before you get off the game. Make sure you go broke and put in many investments as you can. And guys, I got another stuff making method video for the next day too. So stay tuned for that. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And guys, 
Peace. Hey, yo,